Okay guys, so I just had a total newbie moment. Like, I am the dork with the binder walking through Dollar General. Like, this was like one of my most embarrassing trips ever. Okay, so my total was far in the negative. So I ended up getting like a ton of gain to make up for it. But, guys, I like completely embarrassed myself. It is still happening. I'm all over the place. Number one, I didn't eat. I had coffee and I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I didn't eat. I had coffee. That's all I had. And I've been going all day. And so I think I finally just cracked. I really feel like this is the moment where I kind of cracked. And I was at the register. And um, I was at the register and I kind of lost it. I went to the car three times to go get more coupons because I didn't have the right one. I had to go to the car like three times to get more coupons. And then my cashier was so the bomb. My cashier was the bomb. She worked with me like even though I was all over the place. And there were like 10 other couponers in the store at the same time. So it was just hectic. And, and it wasn't like nice couponers, it was like haters. Like, and they tried, two people, two different people tried to stick their hand in my cart. Two people tried to stick their hand in my cart. Like, I'm at a store that I've only come to like maybe twice, cause I went out of town. And it's just, it was crazy. So I got up to the register. My transaction was in the negative. I had to add stuff. I left some of my coupons. I gave my cashier a hard time. But in the end, I added nine game products. And I haven't even like really looked at my receipt yet to see if I got the PNG coupon at the bottom. I don't know. Nope, I didn't get it. I was hoping maybe. I oh, I did! I did! <laughs> I got it! I got the um. Thank you for your purchase of fifteen dollars or more or PNG products. Oh my gosh, guys! I, this is not a fake moment. This is like so serious seriously okay so what i did was this is oh my gosh and it, my train oh my gosh my total was free if you do not believe me my subtotal says negative four dollars and 34 cents and this is even after i added a whole bunch of trash to my transaction <laughs> well i added a lot of gain to my transaction um and my total was still negative four thirty eight. i didn't notice all of this in line because i was spazzing like i was seriously spazzing okay so my total was negative 438 and I got the PNG coupon okay so I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did this is exactly what I did minus all of my free stuff this is exactly what I did I got nine game products okay we know the gain is 395 I got nine game products and then I used you know my two dollar off game coupons nine items okay after overage my total was zero but if you do this deal, your total will still be low for nine game products. <coughs> Ooh, it's hot out here. Okay, so nine game products. Use your two off one gain for each product. And I got the thank you for your purchase of $15 or more. Please enjoy $5, $5 off of 501. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I got it just for buying nine game products. So I guess that's the magic number when it comes to the game deal. Nine. I'm going to run this at another store. I'm going to go run this at one more store. I think I have nine game coupons left. I'm going to run it at another store so I can tell you for sure. Okay, they was out here talking about you. Who? Some lady with a pink shirt and I know who you said. That's the lady who was trying to stick. I found out where she stayed. Oh, what she said? Orange Park. Are you serious? She stayed at Orange Park. So she, she was like, this lady was trying to reach up. She reached over me and... She was getting the coupons and she got all the tissue and she got all this and all that. And that's the she lady. Had a book. That's the lady. Oh my God. I didn't bring my book in to the end. And that's the lady I told mom. I said I wanted to share with her and give her the tissue that I had. She was waiting but I told on you. I told mom I wanted to share with her and give her the tissue that I had, but I told mom, mom said no, not this time. Like she didn't feel like God was leading her to do it, and that's why she came right outside and talked about me, bruh, bruh. Hold on, <laughs> bruh, bruh. Hold on. I know I got saved and delivered. Yes. Because don't nobody talk about my sister, bruh, bruh. And I stayed in the car. I've changed. My G. As a person. My G. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my I G. To grab a bottle of weed. Oh 
my goodness, let me tell y'all. Y'all know I try to stay super positive, right? But when I came outside, my sister told me the same lady I was saying I wanted to help was out here talking about me. And this is the thing. Oh my gosh, she was talking about my car. Talk, oh, and this is the thing. People don't know, you never know. Be nice and be kind and watch your mouth everywhere you are. People, you never know. This lady is from Orange Park. That's my city. She is from my city, right? So she was, I, I don't, the only way I know this is because my sister heard her talking. That she's from my very same city and we're out of town. Bruh, bruh, we are out of town. What are the odds? It's a small world. Watch your mouth, people. Watch your mouth when you talk about people. And I wouldn't be surprised if she even knew who I was and was just trying to be petty. How you gonna talk about somebody driving an $80,000 car? Mind your business. Oh my goodness, don't worry about what I drive. Wow, okay, okay. And that number is wrong anyway, but okay. Okay guys, so I went back to DG, of course. Okay, so there's like tons of stuff over here. And then I still have this. I didn't have time to put any of this up. But one thing I wanna to talk to you guys about really quick is things that are ringing up um, correctly with the extra 50% off and then things that are not. Okay, because some people are like, okay, I go in the store, I'm a little nervous to go and get random things and not know if they're gonna ring up right at the register. So let's talk about things that are ringing up correctly without needing a price override, okay? And remember, I just wanna tell you, I talked about this in a previous video, but if anything has this orange sticker on it, okay, then they are required to mark it down. If it does not ring up correctly, if it has this sticker on it, they are required to mark it down that extra 50% off. So do not be intimidated. If you go in the line and it says, um, okay, let's say for instance, you go in the line and you get one of these and it has this orange sticker and it's ringing up $4. All you have to do is politely say, excuse me, this is a clearance item. It says so on the tag. It's supposed to be an extra 50% off. And if the clerk is like, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Then you just say, um, excuse me, on your signage, on the signage that has been issued by corporate, if you have a copy of it with you, it says an extra percent, 50% off of all clearance items, orange sticker items. Okay, so this needs to be an extra 50% off. If they try to tell you it's already 50% off, it is in the clearance section you can tell them that is incorrect if you scan the product you'll see the original price is not what is marked okay so that is like one of the easiest ways to tell them if they say well that is the original price and it's 50 percent off of that we know that this is not the original price of preparation h totables so if they say that then that is just incorrect okay so make sure you bring their signage to their attention okay but if it's a yellow tag like this, you don't really have much room to argue because the signage does say orange sticker clearance, okay? So yellow sticker, we're lucky if, you know, it rings up right or if they mark it. And that's just something you count as a blessing and you move forward. But orange sticker, it definitely says it and you have plenty of room to argue. Yellow sticker, I'll argue anyway. If it was in the last chance section, it should be marked down, okay? That's their mistake, not yours if it was placed somewhere incorrectly. But let's start with things that are ringing up correctly. Luckily for me, this Cottonelle Clean Care, it rang up correctly the first time. Okay, so we didn't have to change the price. We didn't have to do a price override. Let me grab my receipt and show you exactly how much that rang up. Okay, so here's my receipt showing the Cottonelle. Okay, you can see the original price was $9.45. Just look for $9.45 on the receipt. You see it there? Cottonelle 9-pack um, Confo, <laughs> the short for comfort, $9.45 original price. Um, it rang up $4.72. That's what the asterisk is. You see the S next to it saying it's a sale or a promo price. Okay, so it was $9.45 regular price, but no price override was needed, as you can see from the receipt. And it rang up $4.72. I used a $1 off coupon. Okay, so I paid $3.72, but if you were to go in the store and just pick it up, you would pay $4.72, no override needed. It just rings up that way. So that's one of the ones you can be confident about grabbing and knowing that you won't need any type of price override. Okay, another one, another great one is going to be the Robitussin. 
since it's on my receipt, I'll go ahead and show it to you. No price override needed for this Robitussin. Nighttime Cough DM, 4 ounce. You can find it on the regular aisle. You don't need a price override for this. It will ring up correctly. Let's take a look at this on the receipt. Okay, and a lot of things I was finding on the regular aisle. If you stick to the last chance section, you will lose out, okay? Employees don't pull everything and put it there. So you have to know what's actually discontinued and how to go get it off the regular aisle. If you look at my receipt right about where my finger is, it's showing Robitussin Day Night, okay? It shows that the regular price was $580, but it rang up $290, okay? And again, you can find it on the regular aisle. Make sure you have the right UPC and the right ounces. That was four ounces. I showed you the UPC. Okay, it rang up $2.90, no price override was needed, and I used a $2 off coupon. So that's another great one. So, so far we have the Cottonelle that does not need a price override. It's the 9 equals 36 mega. Make sure it says 4-in-1 and make sure it's identical to this. Let's get a close-up of some of the details. That way you'll be more confident. Okay, these are some of the details. And let's also get a close-up of the UPC just in case. Okay, again, so this was no price override needed. There you go, go ahead and screenshot that. You'll be a little bit more confident in getting something like that when you go in the store. So, so far we have the Cottonelle Mega and we have the Robitussin Day and Night, four ounces, there's that UPC. Let's move on to something else. Another great item that did not need a price override was the Preparation H Totables. These just ring up $1.40, no price override needed. Let's look at the receipt. There you go, you see Preparation H wipes, they ring up $1.40. I used a $2 off coupon, so I got overage on that. They actually paid me back for each pack that I got. But you see, they were $2.80, that's what the sticker says. And you can see where they rang up lower than that, they rang up $1.40. Okay, so that's another one that did not need a price override. And you might say, well, Erica, how do we know what items look like on a receipt if they had to have a price override? Okay, that's simple. I can show you a receipt. I'll show you a receipt that has a couple items that had to have a price override, and you'll be able to see the difference. Okay, guys, so when an item has to have a price override, it will show on your receipt either one of two ways, and I will show both. The first is it will say price override, which is very obvious. Okay, so you'll know it says price override. You don't have to say what does that mean. You know what it means. It was a price override. The other way, which is not so obvious, is it will say markdown cart. Okay, that means they marked down your cart by 50%. So some things were not ringing up 50% off, and they did have a sticker on them, so they had to hit the markdown cart button. And, can, and that's not something that an average cashier can just do at any time. So do not be mad if they cannot hit that button because it requires a district manager's approval to turn their key and a cashier does not have control over a key only a manager or a key holder will have control over that key okay so do not get mad if a cashier does not have the power to mark that down you politely thank them ask to speak to a manager managers have to answer to their dms on whether or not the key can be turned because the keys have been abused in several stores and the regional and district manager will remove those keys from the store, which gives uh, managers and key holders the ability to mark items down 50% off. I know recently there was an issue at a store close to me where a young key holder who had just been promoted began to mark 50% off of everything for his friends, family. He even used the key on beer to mark down beer and cigarettes. Okay, and so the key was taken for the entire district. That is over 20 stores whose managers had their key removed because this one gentleman wanted to start hitting that button on everything. So that's why some stores have it a lot harder and cannot hit that markdown cart button, in which case they may do a price override. But again, that can only be done by a manager or assistant manager. OK, so that's what it will look like on your receipt if you need a price override. OK, so let's talk about more things that ring up correctly. All of the popsicles ring up correctly. Okay, I didn't have any problems with these. Some of the popsicles, most of the popsicles just ring up 15 cents. No price override needed. So if you need a confidence builder to get started, all of these popsicles at my store just ring up 15 cents. No price override needed. I went to several stores and experienced the same thing. So 15 cents. And remember, this is a temporary limited time only sale. Okay, so prices will revert back to original prices 
on Monday. Okay. But this sale will come back around. So you do need to bookmark and save this video because they do this sale about five times a year and the same items that are discontinued now will still be discontinued. Then, you know, whatever didn't sell will go right back on the last chance section when the sale comes back around. So bookmark this video because you will need this as a guide. And if your store didn't have these things out, they may have been in the back and the next sale, they will be out. Okay. So bookmark this video, like, save, thumbs up, all of that good stuff. This emergency is another one that did not need a price override. So if you see the emergency, I went on the regular aisle and got mine. I found this one at one store with an orange sticker. And that kind of told me in my head, like, okay, so... Um, some of them had it. I guess, I don't know. Maybe I didn't unpack the other ones. But I went in one store and found all of these with stickers on them. And so every store I went to after that, I was like, wait a minute. Let's just get that emergency and see what happens. And it was true. You see right here where it says emergency energy, March 450, but it rings up 225. I used a $2 off coupon. So I only paid 25 cents if you see that on the receipt. Okay. But it didn't need a price override, as you can see. All right, so there's a few things that didn't need price overrides. You can see the freezer bars, um, some of the freezer bars. Wait, these ring up 35 cents. I'm seeing that on the receipt now. These ring up 15 cents, but this, this ice ring up 37 cents. I'm seeing that right now on the receipt. Okay, I also got Motrin PM, the 20 count. No price override needed. You can see the Motrin ring up. What did that ring up? The Motrin rang up, let's see, 20 caplets, original price 360, rang up 225. Is that what that's saying? No, that's the emergency. I'm reading the receipt wrong. I got confused because I'm on the floor. Anyway, the Motrin was cheap. I used a dollar off coupon and a two dollar off coupon, and I think I got the Motrin for free, pretty much. Okay, Esther C. This is another one that did not need a price override. Okay, so after I found a few of the orange tag, I started to get the rest off of the regular aisle. They rang up correctly. They rang up $2 and some change, and I used a $3 off Esther C coupon. Okay, so no price override needed for these. Go look on your regular aisle, okay? Don't, don't wait for everything to be found in last chance. This is your last chance to take advantage of the sale. These don't need a price override. 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 Mots did not need a price override. On my receipt, Mots did not need a price override. All of the clear all nice and easy. Here's how you know. This nice and easy is the old design. If you find any with the old design, they will ring up on sale. They will give you overage if you use your clear all coupon, okay? All of the nice and easies, okay? These all ring up correctly. Vidal Sassoon did not ring up correctly. Did not. These need a price override. These need a price override. If you're scared to get a price override or to tell them, hey, these are on sale, don't get these. Avoid Vidal Sassoon. L'Oreal Preference did not ring up correctly. Um, the only hair color that rang up correctly was all of the Clairol. Every Clairol hair color for me rang up correctly and did not need a price override. Okay, but all of the other hair colors did. There's some more things that I got. The gain, I got the gain doing couponing. So that wasn't like some, you know, clearance deal. But the toilet wand, it did not need a price override. Toilet wand rang up correctly the first time. Okay, so this is the toilet wand rang up, I think, $3? $3 and like 50 cents or something, three thirty-five, dollars something like that. And I used a $2 off coupon, so it was pretty cheap. But here's everything for now. Oh, here's another one. This rang up $5, no coupons needed. It just rang up that way, like four dollars four fifty dollars or something like that. It was cheap. It rang up under $5. We did not need a price override. It just rang up that way. Okay. And, of course, the DG Premium Tissue, it rang up $225. Okay, so those are all the things that I did not need a price override for that I can think of right off the top of my head. I'm sure there's more. And remember, if it has an orange sticker, then you have all the right to say, hey, orange sticker is 50% off. That's what your signs say. Okay, so fight for your rights when it comes to the orange stickers. Okay, you deserve that. You show them their signage. You ask them, can you see their signage? Okay, if they say it's not included. Um, and if it has an 
a yellow sticker, then you tell them just scan it on the handheld and let's see if it's discontinued. If it's discontinued, then you should have had an orange sticker on it. That's your fault, not mine. But say it in a polite way. Don't be rude to anyone. And pick your battles. If it's not worth it and you want to form a relationship with the people at that store, just be nice and form that relationship. Don't, you know, don't be mean and burn bridges. But please give this video a thumbs up. Share it, share it, share it. I do not mind if you share my video. Share it to your relatives. Send it to your friends on Facebook. Um, email it to someone. Share, share, share. Let other people get in on these savings. And I'll see you on the next video.